What is up, YouTube? It's your girl, Evelyn, and in honor of Black History Month, I wanted to highlight some amazing Black queer actresses who might not be household names just yet, but I guarantee they absolutely will be soon. So sit back, enjoy the video, and allow me to introduce you to some incredibly talented actresses who are definitely on the rise. You put your hands on my hips. Careful, you're making me slip. If you're a fan of Yellow Jackets, then you already know Jasmine Savoy Brown as everyone's favorite power lesbian in the making, Thaisa. Or maybe you're a millennial who can't let go of the past, and you know her as Mindy Meeks Martin from the new Scream. We interrupt our program to bring you this important message. You guys, what is the name? of the new Scream movie. Is it Scream? Is it Scream 2022? Or is it Scream 5? Because most of the internet is calling it Scream 5, but it doesn't say Scream 5 on the poster. And if it is just Scream, why would they name it the same thing as the one of the things that makes Jasmine so awesome, aside from her talent, is that she seems to purposefully seek out queer roles. She plays gay not only in Yellow Jackets and Scream, Five, but also in Sound of Violence, a Titan-esque body horror film about a young woman who experiences pleasure whenever she hears pain. When I hear certain sounds, I don't just hear them. I see them. Sound of Violence is currently streaming on Showtime, so if that sounds like your cup of tea, be sure to check it out. It's not my cup of tea, but neither is Titan, and that one can. So what do I know? Jasmine was also in the critically acclaimed HBO series The Leftovers, which, just like The Handmaid's Tale, I had to stop watching to preserve my sanity. As if an impressive acting resume wasn't enough, Jasmine is also a singer-songwriter, and as of the making of this video, has two singles out. I've been listening to Orange Wine on repeat since I first heard it, and if you're interested, the video for it will be linked in the description. Shall we, shall we fly? It is ridiculous how incredibly talented Ariana DeBose is. It's not enough that she can sing, dance, and act, but she does all three better than most people can do one. Now, 90% of you probably recognize Ariana as Alyssa Green from The Prom, because we all watch The Prom. And if you didn't watch The Prom, you're not gay. If you're an eagle-eyed theater lover, you may have spotted Ariana in Hamilton as the bullet. Or if you're a regular theater lover, you likely know her as Anita from The New West Side Story, a role originated by the iconic Rita Moreno. And quick shout out to the Rita Moreno documentary. It's currently on Netflix, and if you're into documentaries and biopics, I highly recommend it. And speaking of recommendations, if you haven't watched Ariana's SNL episode, do yourself a favor and check it out. It is wonderfully gay, especially her Sappho sketch with Kate McKinnon, which I'll link in the description. And because I cannot stop recommending things, if you are a true blue musical theater lover, you have to check out Schmigadoon. The show is a mostly wholesome and very hilarious throwback to old school musicals like Oklahoma and The Sound of Music. And Ariana is absolutely adorable in it as the school marm. Schmigadoon is on Apple TV Plus, and I know. In the past, I've been a bit hard on Apple TV for having a horrible selection, but They've been getting kind of thick lately. My booty started getting bigger. Sorry, Apple. You okay? Erin Kellyman is a British actress who's been cast in some of the biggest film and television franchises in the world. She played the badass resistance fighter in Fist Nest in Solo, A Star Wars Story, the unnecessary but entertaining Han Solo origin film. She was also in the critically acclaimed The Green Knight as Winifred, a tragic character based on a real life saint. And most recently, Erin has joined the Marvel Universe in The Falcon and the Winter Soldier, playing Carly Morgenthau, a morally ambiguous character who may or may not be a villain. You're killing innocent people. They're not innocent. They're roadblocks in my journey and I'll kill them again if I had to. At this point, it seems like Aaron is just hopping from one badass character to the next, and I for one love to see it. Later this year, we'll also be able to catch Aaron in Willow, a sequel series to the 1988 film Willow. I hate it here! Everybody needs therapy. That's why I'm outside my therapist's office right now doing what I Are have to do. Are you coming in? Or? Uh, oh. 
If you're only familiar with one person on this list, it's probably Quintessa Swindell. And that's because all gays watch Euphoria. And if you don't watch Euphoria, you're not. Quintessa guest starred as Jules's little friend Anna in season one of Euphoria. And before that, they played Tabitha in Trinkets, a show I tried to get into, but I think I was just too old. And although Quintessa's character isn't gay in Trinkets, they are in HBO's In Treatment, a show people have been recommending to me for years. In it, Quintessa plays a rebellious lesbian teenager whose sexuality ends up being a pretty big part of the storyline. My favorite Quintessa film is probably Voyagers, mostly because every YouTube movie reviewer hates it. I mean, it was fine. Besides, I am a sucker for every Lord of the Flies iteration in existence, and this one is in space. So if you're in the mood for horny teenage space murdery shenanigans, Voyagers is currently streaming on HBO Max. And later this year, Quintessa will take their place in the DC universe as Cyclone in Black Adam. The water returning to you. Yatiti Badaki is so underutilized by Hollywood, it's criminal. She's best known for playing Bilquis, the sex-positive goddess of love in American Gods. Now, I'll be real. American Gods is a very weird show, and definitely not for everyone. I liked it, but... I'm weird. I'm a weirdo. Also, as Bilquis, Yatiti has the most terrifying love scene I've ever witnessed. Spirit activate. Oh no. Holy oh. Yatiti was also in This Is Us, a show I've never watched and never will. More recently, Yatiti has been on a one woman crusade to be cast as Storm in the X Men franchise, and I am 1000% on board. Yatiti emits this quiet intensity in her performances, and I think she would make a powerful, terrifying, an absolutely gorgeous mutant. Later this year, you can catch Yatiti in the Disney Plus original movie Rise, a biopic about a remarkable and inspiring family who produced not one, not two, but three NBA champions. That is it for the list. I want to give a quick shout out to my newest patron, Tamika. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I want to end this video by acknowledging all of the queer Black actresses who are out there doing their thing and representing. 